Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sunkara. In this video, we are going to differentiate. Of course, we are going to discuss a case law differentiating murder from culpable homicide. The two due to sudden and grave provocation. This is a famous case relating to <coughs> celebrity film actor Shah Rukh Khan. Of course, he is not involved in this case. His security guards are involved in this case. Two judges benches, <coughs> B R Gawai and Justice Pamir Ghantam Srinivasan and Simha. Two judges bench of the Honorable Supreme Court of India, while deciding the case of or while allowing the appeal of. Yatinder Singh, Ajay Singh Chauhan, Yatinder Singh, Ajay Singh Sir Chauhan versus State of Maharashtra in Criminal Appeal Number 822 by 2018 on 4th August 2022, right? Modified the conviction given to the appellant that is Yatinder uh, Singh, Ajay uh, Singh Chauhan, modified his sentence from 302. Two three not four part one. Of course, he was released since he has already completed eight years of uh, punishment or incarceration in the jail. So here, please remember, Supreme Court observed that people react in different ways. A short-tempered person reacts differently from a person of cool temperature. So if the person is of short-tempered nature, yes, he will be provoked for each and every occasion. If he does anything in the so-called due to grave and sudden provocation, it may be an exception to murder. First exception to murder, that is section three hundred. So therefore, it may be taken as a grave and sudden provocation. Right? I will read three uh, hundred <coughs> plus. Uh, that is a provision. Normally, except in the cases accepted, uh, culpable homicide is murder. If the act by which the accused death is caused is done with the intention, knowledge, all these things you know. The exception is culpable homicide is not murder. If the offender, while lest deprived of the power of self control by grave and sudden provocation, causes the death of the person, and of course who gave the it is all necessary. So if he acts due to Sudden and grave provocation. His act may come under three not three hundred exception one. The punishment will be three not four part one. So advantage normally the punishment will not exceed ten uh, years. Of course, it is written there that it can be given life sentence. Now we will discuss the brief details of the case. As already told you, the incident took place. Uh, In Manat Bangalow, Manat means it is the bungalow of uh, Shah Rukh Khan, very famous film actor, right? Normally, as uh, celebrities, they have to be assisted by the so-called uh, uh, boxers and also security guards. His house is having round-the-clock uh, uh, security, and uh, the deceased, Mr. Chandravatap Singh, was the in charge of the security. Of the sales company, the name is also Top Security Company, and the appellant or the accused person, right? He was found sitting in the chair on the night of 14/8/2006. 14/8/2006 at about 1:30 a.m. He was found sitting in the chair. So when this Chandrapatha, he is also posted there. When this deceased person saw him. Sitting in the chair, immediately, actually, he started a volley of questions. First of all, he asked him, "Come on, why are you sitting in the chair?" Number two, whether you have loaded the revolver with bullets or not. Whether your revolver is loaded with bullets or not. And did you check up whether the arm is working or not? So, with these three points, immediately, the appellant in anger. Held the deceased by his collar, and said that you are asking me that whether my weapon is working or not. Okay, you see it. So he put the revolver on the chest of the deceased and just fired the trigger and operated the trigger with which immediately this man fell down and lost his life. Right. So another security guard has reported the matter. Immediately, the Mumbai police they registered a case in crime number 
398 by 2006. So the incident took place on 14/8/2006. So a case in crime number 398 by 2006 under section 3028 IPC obviously was registered in uh, Andheri PS also. Okay, whatever it is, uh, then the investigation is completed, the charge sheet is filed, and the trial court. held that it is a case of murder and given him or awarded him the life sentence now he has come of course he has got to the honorable bombay high court bombay high court has held that it is a murder so this uh, here i want to tell you the points why it is taken as murder so the argument or the of the state is number 1 he is a license holder he must know how to handle the weapon and he must be very careful in handling the weapon number one he has put it on the chest of the deceased so he has got the knowledge that if the bullet goes out it will enter the uh, in vital parts of the deceased person he has got the knowledge second the intention the intention may be spontaneous spontaneously the intention can be developed we can't say there should be always prior intention the intention can be spontaneous also therefore it is a clear case of murder and awarded life sentence now the matter has come to the supreme court on the supreme court of india here the arguments on the behalf of the appellant are that there was no intention on the part of a and due to the sudden and grave provocation only in the altercation he lost his mental balance and he lost his control self control and unintentionally shot at the deceased so as such the offense comes under penal code part 1 of the ipc only right but state vehemently denied stating that he was save already points he was a licensed holder and he expected he is expected to exercise the due caution of course asking the person whether your weapon is loaded or not why are you sitting there these are all routine questions so for which there need not be so anger he should not be provoked he is not expected to shoot at that to at point black right now supreme court of course there is a famous case pulicharan nagaraj vs nagarjun reddy vs state of ap 2006 you can refer it also sudden and grave provocation very important case right here to conclude supreme court held that there is no straight jacket formula to say whether it is a murder or culpable homicide whether part 1 exception 1 applies or not so due to general provocation normally he might have lost the power of self control and how a person reacts or responds to a particular situation would depend upon his temperament so here he is a short tempered person so normally a short tempered person reacts differently compared to a cool tempered person so please remember this uh, it's uh, need not have any premeditation due to sudden and provocation this might have this short tempered person uh, might have opened fire and the short temper cannot be ruled out that means supreme court favored him stating that he might have acted in a grave and sudden provocation therefore they allowed the appeal since has already uh, undergone uh, imprisonment for 8 years in the jail so now since it is altered to 304 part 1 of the indian penal code from 302 the 8 years punishment uh, is deemed to be sufficient and he is uh, released forthwith released on bail yes since already has served it so very good judgment so difference between murder and culpable homicide always a disc always a not controversial always uh, the topic will be in discussion somebody will say it's a murder somebody will be say it's a is a culpable homicide and of course supreme court in its wisdom decided it is a case of uh, 304 part 1 that is uh, <coughs> culpable homicide not amounting to murder were what for the due to grave and sudden provocation please read the judgment and i wish you a very good morning thank you very much